Right now, across Pennsylvania, there are thousands of men and women who have a disability who are waiting for services. 17,000 to be exact. 3,000 on the emergency waiting list. Many of these men and women are well into their 60s, some as old as 65 or older. And they live with their parents who are well into their 80s. Unless one of their parents dies, these men and women are going to continue to wait for services. And this is not acceptable. We have heard that there have been modest increases uh, in the governor's budget proposal, but sadly there is uh, no increase for this waiting list mission. We're all pleased that Governor Corbett has proposed modest increases in state funding for community-based services for people with intellectual disabilities and for mental health. Do not be lulled into complacency by these budget figures. I personally am anxious, and I suspect that these minimal increases will be seen as targets as the legislature attempts to find compromises between the House and Senate, especially as we tackle the massive cuts to education. This is where our advocacy is needed. We need to communicate to all our legislators that we won't accept a budget that's balanced by cutting programs and services to the very people whose lives have blossomed under these programs. The money to finance these programs is not an expense, it's an investment. It's an investment in people. We're always looking for programs that work. These are programs that work. You're being here today. Thank you. You're being here today as a major demonstration of solidarity. We're surrounded by representatives who are committed to helping preserve community program for people with disabilities. But we have to keep the pressure on. We still have weeks to go before a final budget compromise is reached. And unfortunately, the battle is far from over. In conclusion, I also want you to note today that you're achieving something just as important as fighting budget cuts. You're sending the message that no one is truly disabled unless they surrender to the challenge that God has laid before them. By coming here today, you're showing us all that you're up for this challenge. And we are in your corner. One last thing. One of my favorite quotes is by former Vice President Hubert Humphrey. And Vice President Humphrey said that the moral test of government is how the government takes care of those that are in the dawn of life, our children, those that are in the twilight of life, our seniors, and those that are in the shadows of life, our handicapped, people with disabilities. I hope that our legislature is going to pass that moral test. Thank you very much and God bless you.